Hey, Sag. Um, let's see what's going on for you. I know I'm a little late, but at least let's see what's happening with the remainder of August for you. Um, if you wish to support, please make sure you send stars or donations. I'm going to put the link to my, uh, my username to where you can send donations to. That was a terrible shovel. Um, but it just shows that you appreciate my time and my energy. Okay. All right. Or comment or share. <laughs> react to the video what's going on for sag the remainder of august ten of cups you know what i just realized oh well it's coming up for sag the remainder of the month what's coming up for sag the remainder of the month Sag. <sighs> you're waiting on somebody. Now, could it be that you're waiting on a on a specific person, or could be that you're just waiting for love. And I think love is headed your way. Ooh. Wow. Tower, strength, and the devil. Oh damn. Um I feel like you have been just off those cards. I feel like you may have been saying something like, yeah, if it's not, if it's not a truly powerful emotion and love, I don't want it. But when the truly powerful emotion does come, I feel like it, it puts you in this place of shock. It's so strong. It's, it's obsessive and, Let's see if you can handle it. Um, Cause Lord knows you've been waiting for it. I think when it first comes in, it makes you very happy. Um, it it puts you in this place of, wow! I can't believe that this person is mine. I can't believe that I get to have all this happiness. Could be same sex because I've seen two queens so far: Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups under the under the deck. But for sure, commitment is here. Queen of Pentacles, home very steady. <laughs> Excuse me. They're not a. They're not an incredibly exciting person, but their consistency shows you that. I'm so sorry about my allergies. Um, this person shows you that consistency is really important for long-term relationships. And they consistently give you attention and happiness. And I think you get into the energy of like not wanting to let them go. You like everything they bring to you. But then we get the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> We're going to clarify, of course, but... Could be that um, this person all of a sudden shuts you out, or this person this person may struggle with self esteem issues, or you do. One of you do. We'll clarify in a minute. But there's so much happiness here. Both of these cards speak of so much joy. So much fulfillment emotionally and just holding on. But this is also a little clingy and it is coming from a place of insecurity. So we'll clarify. So let's go ahead and clarify. <clears throat> let's start with the three of wands. Clarify the three of wands for Sag. Chariot. Oh. Hierophant and Two of Wands. (sighs) 
so I feel like you're very focused right now. Um, what, before we move on to these, let's look at the seven of wands. You may be in the, in the place right now of learning to establish boundaries, learning to say no, learning to say enough, learning to say, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't want to do that. Establishing boundaries. Like you're stepping into wisdom. You're stepping into a higher version of yourself. Someone who knows that in the future, it's better to set a boundary out of love than suffer for, you know, not speaking up. So you're very focused on commitment right now. You may be in a relationship and it's headed towards commitment. It's headed towards um, longevity of some sort. But with the two of wands, it's almost like you have to make a decision about this. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're waiting for something. But you're also needing to make a decision about it, which is a little unusual. Because if you're already in a relationship, what are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? Could it be that you're with someone that makes you feel safe? And what you're waiting for is to feel the emotional connection. And that might be why the devil's here. That might be toxic. It might be that the emotional connection isn't there. And you may be trying to force it. You may be in the place of, I don't want to let go. Because this is good for me. This person is stable. But I'm also not seeing a lot of cups except for this one, right? But this one is also the illusion of happiness. It could be the illusion. So let's see. Let's see what it is you're waiting to manifest because we know it's it's a higher level of commitment, but, but life is also presenting you with a choice. Clarify 10 of Cups. Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. Okay, I'm not getting all of these, just the one I saw the most. The Fool. <laughs> With the Nine of Wands. That's why I said you don't want to let go because the Seven of Wands came out with the Two is the Nine, right? But it is creating a burden because the Seven and the Three was a Ten. So it's interesting that you're showing up here with like, oh, we are so happy. We are so good. Everything's fine. But it's like coming from this place of just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, having to hold back a lot. Not really. It's weird because usually the strength card is, is bravery, but here it's showing up as like not being able to be yourself. It's causing you a lot of anxiety. It's placing a big burden on you because what you really want is to be free. And something about this connection is not allowing you to be free. This is very confusing. Let's clarify Queen of Pentacles. Even me as a reader, I'm confused. Eight of Wands. King of Pentacles, Three of Cups. But the Page of Pentacles. Well, you're showing up as a match. Okay, so for some of you, this may have happened very quickly. Excuse me. For some of you, you met somebody, you had been waiting for them, commitment is here, everything moved really quickly. I'm seeing speed. It moved really quickly. But it's also weighing on you a lot. This, this supposed happiness is not really happiness. Although you are showing up as a match, it's like this person brings you a lot of joy a lot of happiness, but they also 
bring you a lot of anxiety and a lot of burden. Maybe, let me give an example. Like maybe this person, um, may, may be a good match in day-to-day -day life, but I'm trying to think of an example. Oh, but maybe there's no passion. Or maybe there's no emotional connection. Maybe there's no um, intellectual connection. Whatever it is that's missing, because I'm telling you this is this is uh, a connection that's like causing a lot of burden and stress and anxiety. It's coming from that place of like, I actually don't feel fulfilled, but I'm going to say I do because it's an illusion. I think that there's a fear of wanting of not wanting to appear like a fool, not wanting to admit that you're wrong or not wanting to admit like if other people tell you oh, that relationship will never last and you're like, well, I'm going to show them it will. And you held on just for that. But in reality, they were right. And now you're you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot a little bit. Let's clarify these six of wands. Oh, with the page of pentacles could be. Could be that this person is younger than you. Maybe they're more immature. They're more flighty. Whatever it is, it's maybe you have children with this person. You feel obligated to stay. Whatever it is, it's really fucking with you. I'll tell you that much. Like you balance each other, but you also imbalance each other. Clarify Six of Wands. Ace of Swords. Oh, 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 damn. Ah, I tried to catch them and they fell. Hold on. Well, you know what? I saw these. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to turn them over to put them in the deck, and they just spread open. So <sighs> now we're gonna use them all. Wow. Okay, if you're not in a relationship, <laughs> and you're like, I don't know what this person is talking about. I feel like you may be about to be. You may be about to enter a relationship and this is the way it's going to play out. So pay attention either way. Oh, man. So something about this, something about this connection gives you status. Could be that you are the type of person that believes that being in a relationship is validating in some way. And so having somebody want you proves that you're desirable. Could be. You don't want to be seen as a divorcee. You don't want to be seen as somebody's ex. You want to be seen as the woman who's with someone or the person who's with someone, the man who's with someone. So, you're starting to understand some things because this is clarity. But you're still holding back. You're still not willing to let go. I think there's a lot of sex. There's a lot of sexual connection. The earthy part of the relationship is what's the strongest. Maybe the finances are strong. The, the sexual connection is strong. There may not be an emotional connection or an intellectual connection. But there's a very powerful sexual connection. Even emotionally, I'm telling you, it's, it's just, it feels very disconnected. But you don't want to let go. Because it makes you feel beautiful. It makes you feel sexy. Something about this connection makes you feel wanted. It gives you this place of being able to look down on people and say, Ha! Look what I've got and you do not. 
And I think you're afraid of losing that. You're more focused on losing that than you are examining whether you even want to be here, really. <laughs> Clarify. Five of Pentacles. Temperance, Knight of Cups, and Three of Wands. Oh, boy. <sighs> Hold on. <sighs> Sag, sad, sad, sad. <sighs> so I think you may have persuaded yourself that the the practical approach to this connection, the, the passionate sexual connection you guys had would eventually lead to love because that's what you're waiting for right you're waiting for this deep love to manifest to just show up and hit you out of nowhere and what hit you out of nowhere was a sexual connection But the emotional connection, it feels like it's there, but then it's not. It's just, it's like a hint. It's a hint of what it could be. I mean, I think you get to a point where you don't want this. Because this is you, right? Temperance is Sag. It's clarifying the Five of Pentacles. Like you start realizing how dissatisfied you are. You're not fulfilled. Even if you try to act like you are, you're just not. You start stepping into the energy of like, you know what? I feel like I, me and this person are opposites in some ways. But I've been trying to balance that opposite energy. In reality, this is just an illusion. Because I keep waiting for results. I keep waiting for the emotions to grow. I keep waiting for us to have this magical emotional and intellectual connection, not just sexual or physical. And it's not really materializing. And I feel like you've built commitment or you're trying to build commitment off of sexual pleasure alone. Because it's so intense. Because the sexual connection is so strong. You think this will get us through anything. And it won't. Or you thought that. And you're starting to understand now. That it won't. Let's clarify the sun. Page of Cups. The Tower. And the Judgment card. So, Sag, you are operating out of this place of Page of Cups energy, where you have a crush, you have a crush on this person, the sexual intensity is so powerful, you feel like they brought you back to life, they, they brought you happiness. And I think in a way, because these are major arcanas, this person was supposed to bring you back to life. There's something about this connection. It was meant to be. But I don't think it's meant to go as far as you think it's meant to go. And that may be what you're struggling with the most. You keep wanting to say, this is my lover. 
this is my lover. But they're not. And you keep trying to force it. You keep trying to maintain it. You refuse to let go. That's where this is coming from. The insecurity that you're struggling with, the lesson that this is. Which honestly, I feel like there's a lot of lessons in this. But one of the lessons is just because something is familiar, safe, feels good, doesn't mean it's for you. A lot of things can feel good. That doesn't mean that that should be our life partner. Could be a friend. Or could be a person that was supposed to be in our life temporarily. And you've extended that. Because you refuse to let go. You don't really care. I think you're, you've gotten beyond the point. With the devil here, you've, you've pushed past the point of caring whether it's good for you or not. You're like, of course it's good for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel this strongly sexually. But I think that you're trying to think, you are trying to interpret the sex as love. It's not, but you think it is. Clarify Four of Pentacles. You refuse to hear otherwise. Clarify Four of Pentacles. The hangman. Seven of Wands. And the hermit. With the Knight of Swords. Well, this is interesting. This is really interesting because we've got four of pentacles where you refuse to let go, right? You're just like, no, this is mine. I've got the key to this chest. It's all mine. I'm not giving it away. Even if I isolate myself from everyone else because the town is over here, right? It's mine, 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 mine. And so you put yourself in this place of delay. You put yourself in this place of not being able to move forward. Even if, if you can tell, the co there's coins falling out of his pockets. This is meant to depict a traitor, which is why coins are falling out of his pockets. It shows somebody who stole something. And as he's hanging, the coins are falling out. So you're holding on to something that's not yours and you're losing possibly finances, you're losing valuable time, you're losing a lot of valuable things, but you're in this place of, I refuse to look at this, I refuse. But the Hierophant is here. You can't betray yourself for this long without seeing the Hierophant step up. The Hierophant energy is the energy of, let's be wise about this. So with the knight, ooh, with the knight of swords, queen of pentacles, three of swords, I think the universe forces you to face it. Something happens. I don't know how or why or what it what it'll do, but something about this connection is going to bring to the forefront the fact that the connection is sexual. And yes, there is like a mutual commitment, but it's ultimately going to hurt you. It's ultimately not meant to stay. And you're forcing something to stay that isn't meant to. Oh, man, Sag. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what the ultimate or the advice for you is. What's the advice for Sag? You've got a higher view and deep breath, a deep breath. Let's read these. Number 41, seeing from a higher perspective, conscious neutrality, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. 
Sometimes our lives are suction cupped to the ends of our noses and we can't see beyond ourselves. This happens to everyone once in a while. We fall into an automatic response to life and react from a learned conditioned place rather than one of awareness. Being in reactivity keeps us repeating old patterns. Conversely, the avoidance of our triggers could keep us in our comfort zone, policing our attempts at new things. The way to be successful in your endeavor to connect with others is to step out of your sticky perception of the world. Imagine yourself sitting on the back of a bird a thousand feet above your life. Wouldn't your perspective change? From a higher point of view, you can see for miles. You could let go of naming or blaming the obstacles in your way and instead easily discover a path to more beautiful and compelling vistas. More can become available to you in all aspects of your life when you are able to step back and get a little distance. You can wait before responding, be more graceful in your interactions, and see how everything is connected and every experience is a gift. The world is wide open for you today. All you have to do is move to higher ground, be mindful, and celebrate the spectacle of life stance. So, this is telling you're too close to this to see things objectively. You're going to have to detach a little bit to be able to step back and see things from a from a bird's eye view, from a higher view, from a more spiritual perspective instead of 3D. Let's read number seven. A deep breath. A genuine expectation of danger. Projection of a threat without substance. Fight or flight mode. Inability to focus. Trusting in the universe is a way to release fear. Fear is asking for your attention and healing right now. You or another are operating from the position of fear. If you also see red flags, you might be headed towards genuine danger. Perhaps repeating a lesson you don't need to learn again. You can honor this kind of fear by saying thank you and protect yourself by choosing another path. In this moment, you have all it takes to make this shift. If, on the other hand, the fear surrounding surrounds the idea of taking a risk, be mindful. Radical trust and accepting the discomfort of the new is called for you as you move out of your comfort zone. Ask for courage to le take a leap into the unknown and know that all will be well. But know that all will be well doesn't mean all you have come to expect. Stories from the past may be molding your expectations right now and causing fear based on anticipated hurt. Don't isolate yourself or fall for the false idea that life is too painful and engaging with it should be avoided. How about loving that side of you that is afraid, acting out, and causing all this unnecessary commotion? You will never be happy if this small part of you controls your life as it will if you allow it. However, remember to be gentle with yourself and others. Once you let go and relax into your life, everything looks brighter and friendlier. Today, choose love over fear. You'll be amazed when you do. Okay. So this could be interpreted two different ways. Because this is a general reading, I'm going to give the two explanations. On one hand, I think there's a group of Sagittariuses who are holding on to a relationship that's long been stale and dead and gone out of fear of being alone, out of fear. There's something about the breakup, the abandonment, it triggers you. It triggers your abandonment issues. It triggers your fear. It triggers the fight or flight mode. It triggers you. And so it puts you in this place of not being able to think rationally because you're acting out of fear. And the other half of you well, I wouldn't say half. I would say 75% is the first scenario. 25% of you, a very small part. 25% of you, I feel, are being presented with an opportunity for commitment. And you're trying to keep it sexual because you don't want it to move towards commitment because you're acting out of past pain. You're not allowing it to grow. You're trying to keep it at a certain level. So take it as 
whichever one resonates with you, okay? I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow, and I will see you guys later. Bye.